Today, as Darren just mentioned, a mini heat wave is gripping the Bay Area. Yesterday, people took advantage of the warm weather, eating lunch outdoors. But today, some might choose to stay inside and turn up the AC if they can. KPI's Fon Justin Andrews is in Concord this morning, seeing if the power grid will hold up in the hot temps. You will feel these toasty temperatures on this Thursday morning. Probably you'll feel it when you walk outside to start your morning commute. Although the first day of spring was just a few weeks ago, it'll feel more like summer today. And if you're like me, that AC will be cranked up on blast a little more than usual. And that means pulling more from the grid. Experts say there will be strains on the power grid this summer, but this short burst of hot weather now will not be enough to strain it. That's good to hear this morning. In the past few years, though, you probably noticed those flex alerts. They've been more common with eight issued last year alone. According to the California Energy Commission, the state gets 10% of the power in the grid from the power plants at dams along lakes and reservoirs. And when there's no water in there, that means no power is being generated. Problems get really bad uh, when we have many days of severe heat in a row. It's not that occasional day like we might have tomorrow. It's that extended period where you have uh, three, four, five days in a row where the temperatures are up in that range. Now, we will be close to breaking records in Oakland and San Jose. Our weather team also says that records could be shattered in places like Livermore and those inland areas. In Concord, I'm Justin Andrews, KPIX5.